Welcome back to Studio 701. It's Monday morning, so it's time for our weekly Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk is a time we talk about current events, pop culture, and much more over some coffee. In today's Coffee Talk, brought to you by 12 Stones Coffee, we're talking with KX Sports Director Phil Benatti. Back again. Back again. <laughs> we love having you here, and it is April, but, you know, we still have some March Madness to talk about. Some oh my excitement gosh. going that on here. That was a sensational Final Four on Saturday that we had on our channel. Uh, you got to talk about San Diego. State pulling it out with the, the buzzer beater. That was just the first game. And then, I mean, UConn's dominance throughout this whole tournament. They went again by double digits over Miami, setting up what probably nobody thought was uh, going to be this championship mm -hmm. between San Diego State and UConn. Just a exciting matchup that we have tonight here on uh, KX. And I am a lifelong San Diego State Aztecs fan. Go Aztecs. If you look at the numbers... Uh, the Huskies and the Aztecs, their shooting percentage, their three-point percentage, rebounds per game, all the, the numbers that really matter, uh, they all line up pretty mm -hmm. well. What I like about San Diego State is they are um, experienced, they're strong, and they are defense first. Um, although the Huskies have run through this tournament, they look extremely tough. I really think San Diego State has a chance. Maybe I'm just a little bit biased. It's not about who's good. It's about who's hot in this tournament. True. And uh, anytime UConn gets hot, you always get, get scared. And this is usually how UConn wins their national titles is they kind of come out of nowhere and, yeah. and win these big games. So mm -hmm. should be fun on our channel. Final games are happening tonight, mm -hmm. and you can watch it right on our channel. Tip off at 8.20, and then uh, our news is going to be right after. I know it'll be a late night for us, but our 10 o'clock will be right after all, all, all of the madness. To That's that. my follow-up question. Be honest, are you a little bit looking forward to no more late shows <laughs> due to basketball <laughs> pushing you so late? I like, I like the camaraderie that comes with us, just yeah. like, all right, when are we going to actually be on air? We'll figure this out, you know, but I, I, think, it, I think it's a good time all in all, but yeah. I'm glad I'll be going home in a decent hour <laughs> after today. Well, sure. speaking of camaraderie, we love Phil so much. And Phil has pranked us on April Fool's the last <laughs> two years in a row. So the oh first gosh, year, yes. this was our office. Um, <laughs> you know, the balloons, which are colors of Studio 701. That was a lot of work. <laughs> honestly, I would like to live in that room still. It made me happy. It didn't <laughs> prank me. And then just a few days ago, he got us again when we walked into the office because that's what <laughs> Phil does. <laughs> Seriously, so funny. But then um, I had to do something because I knew that your I knew where your vehicle was this weekend. And mm -hmm. even though April first was over, April Fools was extended. So <laughs> with the help of my wonderful husband Matt, we um, decorated your car. You certainly oh, did. You certainly did. To be did. a Bills fan. Yeah. So and, uh, that if you know Phil at all, he is a diehard Patriots fan. Uh -huh. And so <laughs> we. Decorated Decorated his car, so I, I didn't get to see your reaction. I'm not gonna lie, but I am kind of dying to know. I think I sent you a video last night. I was walking up. I was kind of <laughs> filming the floor. I'm like, this is I get back six hour drive from Minneapolis, and <laughs> this is what I come to. Uh, it was great though. It was a little windy, a little chilly, pulling it all up, but it came April Fools. I think it's still in the back seat of my car. All the, all, all the, I'm all the sorry. craziness. But I no, felt bad. I did feel bad. This is bad. how you gotta you gotta own up to your pranks, Amber. And now okay. we know we gotta up the ante next year. She okay. did say, she did say, I felt bad the whole time I was doing it. But it just kept going. <laughs> but it was I terrible. I, I didn't feel bad enough to stop. But I just felt bad while doing it. But hey, we love your sense of humor and that you're always just part of the team. So thank you so much, Phil, always for being with us. Always to prank you and I got, a, I got a long time to think about next year. Next year. We're already thinking about it. All right. This has been Thanks, our Coffee Phil. Talk, which is brought to you by 12 Stones Coffee. All right.